Hey everybody, Steve here, and here's a look at the stories that we're following from the AFR News Desk for May 14th, 2014. Our lead story this week comes from overseas, and that's from Auzat Games, and that they will now be releasing most of their games and their season sets as PDF files. This will come as a great relief to all of us here in the States, as the shipping cost for a lot of their games was almost as much as the game itself. Be sure that you go to the website to check out the list of games, and if you have any questions, be sure to email them before you make a purchase. So, now's your chance to check out A Beautiful Game, International Cricket, or any of the other games that they have available in their catalog. Over at Diggin' Deep Sports, they're in the middle of a two-week BOGO sale, that's a buy one, get one free, for any of their eBooks. Be sure that you head to the site for all the details, and that sale will end on May 21st. Now let's take a look at new releases. Downey Games has released the 2014 NHL season for their ultra-quick hockey game. Inside Sports has a couple of new releases this week. The 2013-14 NBA season for their Inside the Paint basketball game. And then they also have three new NHL seasons available for their Inside the Crease hockey. The 69-70 season, the 78-79 season, and then finally the 92-93 season. And now AFR is proud to bring back the Question of the Week contest. This week we have a very special prize for our Question of the Week contest. It will be for a pre-order copy of Soccer Blast from Play.com. So the winner of this will receive a copy of the game before the official June 22nd release. And the question for the Question of the Week is, what do you think of the chances for soccer becoming a major sport here in the USA? Now, myself, I actually live just a few minutes away from Foxborough Stadium, where the New England Revolution play, but I have yet to actually go see a game, although the local sports station does carry all of their games, and I do watch some of them from time to time, but I'm not really sure what's going to happen with the sport, if it's going to become you know, something that will get a devoted following. Uh, I think what the sport really needs is to have a couple of really big-name stars that cross over so that people that aren't soccer fans will be able to identify them. But I'm not sure, and I'm, I'll be interested to hear what everyone thinks about that. So again, the Question of the Week contest, make sure that you're a subscriber to the channel, like this video, and then leave a comment below answering the Question of the Week. I'll name a winner on next week's new show, and good luck to everyone. And finally, a couple of channel updates. The Soccer Blast review that I put up yesterday has been really popular. It's actually gotten more views in just one day than I normally would get for a review in a week's time. So thank you to everybody that's tuned into that. Thank you for all the great feedback. It was really great to get a a pre-release copy of the game and to get that out to everybody during the pre-order period for that. I'm actually going to try to sneak a under the hood with Soccer Blast in before the game's official June 22nd release so that everyone can see how a full game plays out before you get it on your own tabletop. Alright guys, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. My name's Steve and I'll see you next time after further review.